Welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. I'm Mickey or Michelle, but my friends call me Mickey. That's my nickname for short. And today we are trying on my part two of my haul from Lisa Eldridge. So she launched four new lipsticks, two new glosses, and a whole bunch of liners. And most excitingly, she is going to launch her foundation, 40 shades, which is fantastic. And so with the purchases, she let all of us have a free sample card to try out the foundation, 40 mind boggling shades and undertones. And if you would like to see me try on the lipsticks, glosses and liners and the foundation, then keep watching. I ended up getting my Lisa Eldridge order. Most of it is in. I'm still waiting on a, one last package, which has about three of the new ones, but I basically got a, most of the new stock. And today I wanted to actually try on some of the foundation along with some swatches and try-ons of the lipsticks and glosses. With the order for Lisa Eldridge and her drop of these new lipsticks, she actually, with each order, you were able to pick a card of foundation. And so I ended up getting three different sets of foundation cards. I got the medium one set, the medium two set, and then the light medium two set. So there was kind of like a medium and then a light medium set, if that makes sense, because I'm not sure which one I am. <laughs> so just so reference, I am filming in natural light. It's pretty overcast today, so I'm just using what I have. I have no makeup on my the, my, the rest of my face except for my eye makeup and my under eye concealer. It's been my history that I've had to cocktail different foundations. They say match your neck, so I did wear a V neck today. And then what makes it a little bit more challenging for me is that I have redness. So you're seeing me bare face right now. All I have is my skincare match. And I'm gonna pull my hair back too so that we can see a little bit of what might work. Okay, that is 17. Okay, this is 18. 19, 20, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 17 looks like it's the closest match. It does look a little bit light. 18 looks a little bit too beige. 19 looks too deep and 20 looks way too pink. I think still this is going to be two peach. It's going to be 17 or 18. So right now I'm putting down some primer. I'm putting down the Sisley, Sisley um, Serum Primer. You know, everyone's skin type is different. You know, I'm having some breakouts, but also I'm having much more redness today. And even if I am using too light of a shade, some of the redness will show through. What I'm afraid of, of not using, um, 18 is that it's going to look even more orangey red because I'm red underneath if that makes sense so we'll see how 17 goes and then if it's too light we'll go with 18 and then I'm using my Sonia G jumbo base Okay, that's one side of the face. So this is 17 and this is bare faced. Not bad. I'd actually rather go a little bit neutral than orange Oompa Loompa because once you go Oompa Loompa, it's hard to scale it back. Whereas if it's a little bit hair of a too light, I can use bronzer too and contouring to warm up my face. Just first impressions, it definitely feels like not matte, but not 
overly dewy. It very looks very much skin-like and I'll get in closer. So you can definitely see some of my uh, characteristics of my face still. So it's not going to cover up things like acne, which I'm fine with. That's more of a natural finish. I'm so curious. Would it look so weird if I did 18 on this side? I think we're going to do it. My Gemini nature is telling me to do it. So we're going in with 18 on this side. We're doing it for the sake of science. <laughs> and also some of you, I mean, doing, I'm going to do this video because some of you didn't get to order Lisa Aldridge. So you didn't get some of these swatch cards and then you might not be interested in the lipstick, but you're interested in the foundation. So I'll list, I always list my foundation references down below in the YouTube box. So check that out. And I'm losing my summer tan. So I'm starting to get a little bit more pale. Okay, I'm taking my foundation blender, blender from Real Techniques. And if you're just tuning in earlier, I said that I, um, I'm having an actually allergic breakout to a product that was given as a sample. I don't want to say it because it might work for you, but I put it on over my eyes and it's, I can tell there's like puffiness and it caused me to have a migraine as well. I'm in front of a window. There's no additional light other than lamps I have over here. So this is 18. It's overcast. This is 18. Lovelies. What do you think? 17 or 18? I like that this gives me a little bit more color and depth um, because it is, it is a little bit warmer. What I worry about is if I invest and buy this whole foundation that it's going to look too yellow for me in the next couple of months. And that's the dilemma I always have. I don't chime in below if you have that same issue that a lot of us have trouble finding a perfect shape match. And there's very few foundations that I can find a perfect shade match because it really depends on the season. So in the summer, I'm, I get a beautiful warm undertone, deeper. Um, and then in the winter, I just get more pale, pale, pale because I'm just like the little sun where I live. And so, you know, sometimes I have to cocktail a lot of my makeup. I think this side, because of the color, it's actually looking a little bit more dewy which is, you know, depending on your preference, it's not a good or bad thing. I actually think this looks a little bit more perfected, even though it is lighter. And I'm trying to, and I wore a V next so you could see the difference. So, uh, 17, 18. And please ignore the unwanted visitor here. <laughs> Just gonna go for that up. 18, 17. So we're going to move to, and I'm going to let this settle down. I'm not going to powder it down. I'm just going to see how this wears. So this is not new to Lisa Eldridge, but it's new to me because this was out of stock and I was able to grab Velvet Affair. So it, this is Velvet Affair. Velvet Affair the lip liner and I had the gloss before so this is actually one of my favorite glosses it's really beautiful on its own or on top of other colors So that's Velvet Affair with just the lip liner. Velvet Affair, beautiful color. And if you're new to Lisa Eldridge, just be very delicate with these lipsticks. I have a lot of her lipsticks and I only have one that broke, but it was, I think it was just me being a little bit rough with it. So definitely don't go, don't have it out all the way. I would say, just bring it out to the enough that you need it. 
I would say be very gentle with how, how you put it on. Velvet Affair. And now I understand why people were nuts about this color. It's on uh, my skin tone, it's like the perfect nudie brown with a hint of orange in it. It's really beautiful. And then I'm going to put some Velvet Affair lip gloss over this to see how it looks. And the, you can see the gloss just adds on my lips. It goes a little bit orange. Do you see that? So the bottom part is where I added the lip gloss. And it just adds it up to be a little bit orangey pink. Beautiful. I just love how even when I wore it matte, I loved it because it was a different look, but the gloss made it a little bit lighter and a little bit more orange. Perfect for fall. It's like this everyday kind of orangey, brownie nude for me. Beautiful. I can see why people really love this set. I could see it being really beautiful on a lot of different skin tones and hues and oh it's so beautiful it's hard when you start off with a color that you really love and then you have to take it off and the next one we'll do is velvet dragon and this is not a new color other than she released the lip gloss for dragon but the rest is new to me because i never picked up the entire set so we'll start with velvet dragon lip liner Beautiful. It's like this beautiful orangey red color. Wow. This is the gloss for Dragon. Dragon. The Affair colors. And down here is Dragon. Okay, that's Dragon with the liner itself. Wow, that's a Vava Voom orangey red Dragon. Okay, so you can see how the gloss changed the matte look. So it looks made it look a little bit more orangey. Can you see that? And on my lips, it almost like reflects like a little bit gold. Okay, it's definitely more glamorous. I feel like kind of having a dynasty moment here. <laughs> Does anyone remember dynasty? So Barbara's with uh, Joan Collins. Joan Collins, I wanna say. Anyway, it's an evening soap opera. I feel like this color on my skin tone makes me look paler. And I think it's just kind of the nature of the color. Either that or it's the, <laughs> the foundation, I'm not sure. I don't think I have anything in my collection like this color. And this is why people go nuts about Lisa Eldridge, is that it's going to look different on me and then someone else with a completely different lighter or deeper skin tone and undertone it's probably still going to look great on you, but just in a different way. So I definitely have to feel like I'm having a bold look with this. Like I have to be, you know, owning it if I'm going to wear this color. Whereas the other one was just like 
easy affair is definitely easy like you know it's beautiful and understated but glam but this is definitely a statement red orange lipstick so next up we're going to try cinnabar which is the one that everyone was buzzing about and really wanting to try lisa eldridge did a wonderful description on this lipstick about i think it was I remember Queen Elizabeth using this color when she was holding court, but she was basically commanding when she used this color, Cinnabar. So this is Cinnabar, this is Cinnabar the lipstick. Cinnabar, and I have the gloss for Cinnabar. Beautiful, look at that. I'm just excited to use that by itself as well. Gorgeous. And the thing about, I don't know if you've had other reviews, is that these lip glosses are actually really comfortable to use. I'm usually not a lip gloss wearer. I only, I prefer Pat McGrath. I won't wear it by itself. I'll like, I'll put, use Pat McGrath over lipstick. I just love that it's like an elevate, it elevates whatever lipstick look I have. But for me, I personally don't really like using Pat McGrath by themselves. That's just me. And I think the only lip, lip glosses that I actually like using would be Lisa Eldridge and then probably Tom Ford but this is Lisa Eldridge is probably my favorite one because it's so pigmented and there's no scent whereas I think Tom Ford has a lot of lavender that they put and just some scents they put into their lip glosses and I just don't like scented makeup because it's like right there and um, you can smell it and a lot of times it doesn't dissipate so Cinnabar let's get into it Okay, Cinnabar. Ooh, I can tell already it's going to be like this brownie red color. So pretty. What? <laughs> I just can't get over these Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Just, they're gorgeous. Cinnabar. It's like the perfect brownie red for me. Less brown, but there's like a red orange to it. <laughs> Just really excited about all these colors. And as you can see with that gloss, it made it less matte, obviously, but made it a little bit more golden because it's adding a glossy layer. So it looks a little bit more orange with some gold in it. And that's just because of the reflection, probably. Let me dab some of that on top. I think this might be my favorite one. I think it's perfect for fall, special occasions. So it's been about 40, 30, 40 minutes. And again, I haven't put anything else on my face like bronzer or powder or blush. So this is 17. And this is 18. And for me, it, the side looked a little bit more deep and tan, but as it's dried down and settled down, I don't see any other discerning differences on my skin tone other than it looks a little bit smoother here than here, but it's hard to say because I'm having some breakout. So this is blush and the rest of the new lipsticks are in the mail coming, I think this weekend. So I'll be getting blush lightly, um, the petal one, and then I think intrigue. So I can do those for you in another video. So this is blush, the regular one. And then people were asking for a lighter version of blush. But for me, this is like the perfect color because of my skin coloring. This is my go-to between, well, before the new ones, blush and muse were my go-tos. 
So this is blush down here, liner, velvet blush, and the gloss. Okay, and that's the blush liner. Ordered a new blush, but this is the one I've been using this past year. Blush, velvet blush. And let's see how, see how the lip gloss changes it. So I have the blush lip gloss. I love this color. It's still one of my favorites from Lisa Eldridge. And sorry for the, the change of lighting. I can't control the sun. So it just got brighter, even though it's overcast. So I don't know how else to describe this other than I just love this color. So I'm excited to see what blush like lightly looks like when that comes in. And so let me try two more colors. So these are new to me, but they're not new to the collection. I ended up picking up Midnight and Decade. So we'll start with Midnight. It's like dark, plummy, berry, Midnight. And I got it because we're heading into winter. So I'm just really excited to wear this. Look at that. Very deep color. So we'll go into the lipstick, Velvet Midnight. Wow, that's really deep. I feel like I'm having a goth moment here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it, that I think it would be best if I don't use the lip liner and then use it as a stain. And we'll try that in a moment. Lips are getting really, really dry. What I'm gonna do is kind of put some more neutral, just lip oil on just to nourish my lips. Ah, that feels great. And I love the Busy Art lip oil. This is the like, it's like pink translucent. Let's give my lips a break. Okay. What I wanna see with this Velvet Midnight is if I could shear it out to be kind of like the berry, the berry stain. So I have a little bit more slip on my lips, if that makes sense. Okay, I love this lipstick more as a stain. Did you see what I did there? I moisturized my lips and then blotted it. And actually, if I were to go back again, I would probably put more moisture down. Let's try to do that. And I don't wanna get the doe foot stain, so I'm just kind of, I put some on my hand and then I'm gonna blot it out. And it, what that does, it shears out the lipstick, lipstick even more. So that I kind of made a gloss in a way. I'm not mad at it. This is actually really pretty this way. That's like a deep, sexy berry. Love it. That's more my speed. I'm gonna add a little bit more. It almost has a purple sheen to it. Do you see that with the gloss? And then, and I saw Lisa Eldridge do this. 
you don't always have to put the lip liner first. So you go in after. I've done that trick too because it's just sometimes it's intimidating to do the outer edge and then fill it in. It's just a little bit more pressure. So I ended up sometimes it's better to do it after. So let's see if we do what happens when I feather it in. And don't go over, don't be ever afraid to just use your your hands or brushes to smudge it out too. So I prefer this not matte obviously because you saw how too too deep it went on and I prefer this more as like a berry stain. It's a very sexy color. It's very vampy. I like it. So for the last lipstick that I'm going to play with today is Velvet Decade and it's also very deep. Let's go deep brown. I think it's going to look really beautiful on deeper skin tones. Look at that. And I think I might use it more as a stain. Yeah, let's do that. So I put some um, lip oil down and let's see what happens if I just, you know, blot it. Ooh, it's pretty. This reminds me of one of my favorite Chanel Coco Flash lipsticks, um, 52 moment i want to say um it's like this brownie glossy color and what makes me a little sad is that on film it doesn't pick up exactly how just gorgeous these lipsticks are in real in real person in real life decade because it's a very deep color, I'm going in with a liner after again, just because it's a little bit more forgiving. I don't know if it added more thing, anything but precision. I'm excited to have this because I've been always looking for a perfect brown liner and it's really hard for me to find one. So I have found it. This is my perfect brown eye, brown liner. Um, I think it's a really beautiful brown. It almost has like plum undertones, if you can see that. I want to see what happens if I add a little bit more gloss. So again, Busy Art Lip Oil. Just put it on the back of my hand and I'm going to dab with my finger. Make sure it's clean. Oops. And that's Velvet Decade. And I think this would really be a beautiful color on deeper skin tones um, as the velvet. I think for me, if I do all like go in ham with it, super like velvet, well, we can try it. Let's see what happens. But I would probably wear it like this. So it's like a, it's almost like a deep brown with a little bit of mauve purple undertones. And that's, again, this is the beauty of Lisa Eldridge is that most of these lipsticks will work for a number of people with different skin tones and undertones. So again, Velvet Decade. It's still a beautiful color. So Velvet, Velvet Decade. And I just wanted to build it up so you could see what it looks like on me. And I don't have it matte because I, I'm starting to lose. <laughs> like, it's starting to be a little rough on my lips. So I just need to take care of my lips first. All of these I really love. What am I gonna end with? I'm gonna end with, I'm gonna end with Cinnabar.
Okay, so let's finish with the foundation and let's chat about it. So I've been wearing it for about an hour and then it doesn't really dry down, so it's tacky. So what I'm going to do now is powder is powder it down because it doesn't really dry down. I'm taking my trusted Sisley powder. Okay, so I've, I've powdered it down with Sisley. And really both sides look the same to me other than this looks a little bit more flawless, but it's really hard for me to tell because I'm having some breakouts. So, you know, if I had to pick a color, I might go with 18 because it didn't wash me out as much, but I am wondering if 17 is going to be better because it looks a little bit more perfected. Hard to say. I think I have to wear it down. I do think it is a little light, but I'm also, it's hard for me to tell. Like I have overcast lighting today and I'm also losing my tan. So does it match my neck and chest a little bit? Yeah, but it looks a little bit light, but you know, I actually found it to be the opposite. I'm always worried that foundation is going to oxidize. If anything, it settled down and actually felt like it went flat. I found that at least when it dried down, it kind of settled down to be a little bit lighter and more uniform, if that makes sense. I don't know if others are having that experience. And again, this is just a first impressions. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just um, what I'm noticing. So I'm gonna get up close so you can see. And I have all I have is concealer, eye makeup and the lipstick and I have no bronzer on and no blush. So this is 17. Side 17 and this is side 18. Side 17 and 18 and I can't really tell a difference. You can tell me um, as the viewer and let me know. So what I'm going to do is probably finish up uh, my makeup and then see how it wears the rest of the day and then when I get to upload the video I'll put a, a note I'll ping a little I'll pin a note for you to see um, how it wore I just think this is how the future of beauty is the future is now with beauty of like that she was intentional in launching this collection and put 40 shades in and pretty much I think Rihanna with Fenty Beauty set the standard with her foundation of like 40 shades from the get-go and now i feel like we're moving the needle like this is the default of like don't just drop these like one two three and then maybe we'll drop a four or five deeper shade like months later and i don't want to name names but you because <laughs> i've seen the complaints but it's it shouldn't be an afterthought it's like right from the get-go this is like we're making sure we're being really inclusive right from the get-go so bravo to Lisa Eldridge on just successful launch of new more lipsticks and this foundation. I'm really excited to actually wear test this foundation and actually buy it when I find the match. Um, and for others to just enjoy this beauty, like that's part of the beauty is like people want to be included in this experience. So I'm just really excited. I'm fingers crossed. I hope it is a good experience for more um, inclusive fit, inclusivity for for the beauty world so you know chime in below um you know this is an inclusive channel it's the new standard with beauty and i'm just excited to see how the shades are working for you so let me know how they're working for you how is the foundation working for you and how is the tone working for you um and so i'm just going to get in close again so you can see Okay, so here's the final look. Cinnabar. Super excited about this color. Cinnabar. So that's it, everyone. Thanks for joining me in this Lisa Eldridge swatch party try on. I really enjoyed putting on all the lipsticks today, even though. You know, actually my lips aren't feeling all that bad. Um, I need to moisturize in between. So let me know what you think. Did you pick up anything from the Lisa Eldridge launch? Tell me what color uh, foundation you think you are. So I'm excited to hear that and tell me what your thoughts are on the foundation. Um, thanks for joining me today. 
Uh, and as always, if you like the content, be part of the Mickey Carr Beauty Fam. I would appreciate it if you subscribed, commented down below, ring the bell for notifications, and you will get the notifications when I put a video up. And I aim to put two, maybe three videos up a week. So I really enjoy the time that you spend here on the channel. And as always, be kind to yourself and others and just be you. So thanks again and have a great day. Bye.